There we go. Whew. Today is a very hot day. It's a beautiful one, but it is extremely hot. I'm a little bit out of breath. Oh man, it is bright today actually. Fortunately, you can't see my face. You can see my face. So it should be fine. It should be fine. It's only when I lean away that things are going to dim a little bit. Let me start breaking this up a little bit, shall I? <sighs> I've been thinking a lot about growth and about hard work and about commitment to something that you believe to be true. And it is, it is easy to think about, but it is hard to practice. And I'm now actively trying to practice the things I think about. Because it's always interesting to me when it's like late at night or when I'm watching something inspirational. I have, like I can feel in myself this, this drive. And I'm, I start telling myself, oh yeah, I'll do this and I'll do that. And I'm going to start taking into account this and this and this. And you tell yourself all of these things you're going to do. And then the next day comes and it's almost like you're the same person again before you started making these commitments to yourself. And it's weird. It's weird that we have like this need to almost like criticize and self-improve at night or like when you're laying in bed and you're thinking about stuff. But then when it comes to actually doing it, then you have this resistance. Like you have no resistance in thinking about it like that. But be a little bit weird but you have a lot of resistance in actually implementing all of the things that you're thinking about and i think that is that is the real obstacle to overcome and i'm not exactly sure how i'm not exactly sure how um i've been trying <laughs> maybe it's just trying maybe it's getting good at it right just getting good at doing the things you're supposed to do and then keeping doing that because I'm not sure, I'm not sure how. I've been, I've been trying though. Like I think that's the most important thing, is the things that you tell yourself. At least try, and, and listen to it. Because I feel like if you keep doing that over and over again, you keep telling yourself you're gonna start doing this, you're gonna start doing that, and then you don't. It's almost like there's a sense of distrust forming with yourself. Like you can't. You can't even trust the like the things you say to yourself anymore. And then in turn, if you can't trust the things that you're saying to yourself, how is anybody else supposed to trust you, right? How are you supposed to, to expect people's trust when you can't even do it yourself? For yourself. Mm -hmm. My dog is looking at me with the like heat exhaust face. <laughs> Hi, Yuri. So, he's just chilling. Yeah, it's a really hot day. It's like a blazingly hot. Yo, G, I need advice. Yo, G, please feel free to do um, I'm always willing to give advice. I'm not sure that my advice is going to be any good, but I'll try. Like, you can guarantee I'll try. I'll never shy away from trying. And I think at least that is a a good aspect of my personality fortunately where are you at i'm living in south africa friend i'm living in south africa so welcome to all of you joining me uh, i hope all of you are very well i hope you're healthy i hope you're safe and i hope you're taking care of yourself all righty then i think my bud might be actually crushed enough for me to actually do something uh, love the patterns on your clothes, pro beans, nice catching you on here again. Thank you so much for saying that. My mom would also like hearing that. I'll tell her for you that you like my clothes because she's the one that helped me pick them out. So I think she'll like it. So I kind of messed up a bit with my girl and just chatting to her for a day. But I was a bit over the top and flirting 
And now I've been forgiving, but I feel I ain't done enough for her. I'm not exactly sure what the hell you're talking about, dude. I don't, I don't even know what to give advice on. Did you flirt with another girl and she found out? Is that what you're trying to say? Or, or are you flirting with her to make it up? You need to give me more information. I chatted to a new girl. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, yes, see, dude. Like, it's a, it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing. Women, like, there's a... Ain't no theory like a woman's, you know? I don't know if I say that correctly, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, a woman can get really angry, dude. And I think the only way for you to be forgiven is to, to show her that you're, you've learned from your mistakes, dude. Like, maybe explain to her how stupid you are for making the mistake that you made. I think that would be the best way for you to, to recuperate. I've never dealt with a situation like that. Uh, not talking out of superiority or anything. But, like, I, I, I've never been in that situation, so it's hard for me to comment. But, more often than not, it helps for you to admit that you were wrong. And then admitting that the thing that you were doing was wrong because of a stupid self-reason of your own. Like, oh, I was just chatting to this new girl because I wanted some, you know, excitement or whatever. whatever. Like, I, I don't know, dude. That's a really hard one for me. I really do not know. There we go. Welcome to everybody joining me right now. Our room, if I can call it that, is now nice and full. My name is Meltmore. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope all of you are doing well. And yeah, I'm going to be packing this joint a little bit longer before I end up lighting it. But stick around and we'll have some chats. I become extra chatty when I've started smoking. <laughs> uh wow how is it over there it's good here it's really good here it's just very very hot right now it's like uncomfortably hot like i even have my drip scarf all all moistened up but it still feels like i'm sitting in a sauna can't type <laughs> it's hard dude good afternoon where are you from i am from south africa friend what is the scarf called again it's called the drip scarf friend I think I did say it, but it's called a drip scarf. I have still. Explain why you did it. Explain why you did it. And be honest. Yeah. I think that's the easiest way, bro. You have to be honest. And you have to explain to her exactly why it is that you did the thing that you did. And sometimes we do things not even knowing why it is we're doing things. Maybe even, like, go the route of telling her that you, you feel you like her so much and you care for her so much that you're self-sabotaging maybe that you're you know looking for a reason to self-sabotage yourself because she's maybe too good for you i don't know dude it's it's really hard <laughs> it's it's a little bit of a conundrum that you found yourself in actually da, 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 da. what are you doing for a living i am a 3d artist dude i am a 3d artist uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it ain't no excuse, but I had gone a few days without sleep and I just literally made a mistake I wasn't thinking. Then say that to her, dude. Say that to her. Like, I don't know, like, how, like, the, what the extent of you flirting was and if it was, like, a, like, an online or on your phone thing. I'm assuming it was. How serious did it get? Did you start asking for photos and stuff? Yo, like there's so many variables, dude. Why, why ask me these hard questions? I don't know how to give advice to them, dude. Like I really do not. I've been <laughs> out of a relationship for so long. I've forgotten how to, how to relationship. Uh, I regretted chatting to her straight away and that, but I got caught before I could tell her. So it doesn't mm -hmm. look good. Ew. So... Again, like, what were you doing, dude? 
Like, were you just having a chat with this chick? Just a casual chat? And then again, how did your girlfriend find out? Did she read your messages? Yes, it's such a note. I, I'm gonna stop thinking about this. <laughs> it's, it is a dilemma, dude. I'm so sorry that you're going through this right now. I wish I could help more than I am. But unfortunately, like I've given you as much information as my brain will allow. Is weed legal there? Uh, are they strict about it? It is legal, but it is, it's like a, it's a weird legal. It's like it's decriminalized and people are allowed to own like three kilograms if they're driving around with it. So they're not really strict anymore, fortunately, but it used to be. It used to be kind of strict. Uh, I dwell. Thanks for the help anyway, G. You're so welcome, dude. I hope I, I could help at least a little bit. I'm not sure I did, but the little bit that I tried, I hope it did help. Ooh. Almost lost a piece of my little joint here. I'm gonna take the cap off of this. Honestly, honesty is always the best policy. Being honest with yourself is very important. You're certain that you've Invested as you can believe you 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 now there's a lot of things coming through I just have to open it up again uh, Be certain that you're you are as invested as you consciously believe yeah like that's the that's the most important thing as well dude if if you feel like this woman if you're if you're drawn to other women because you feel like your current partner isn't for you, then you should end that relationship, dude, because it's not good for you, and it's not good for her. And you have to be aware of that. You have to be aware that you're actually in love with her, and that you want to spend the rest of your life with her. And yeah, like you, as you said, you were tired, so I do respect that, but it's hectic, dude. Uh, it was just chat, but like the things I was calling her were a bit too friendly. Oh, like babe and stuff like that, maybe. Hello, mate. Uh, load some shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> I'm not an Australian, dude. I'm not an Australian. What kind are you smoking? I'm smoking lemon haze, friend. I'm smoking lemon haze. You better not be driving with three kilograms, man. I thought we could only have 100G in the car. And three cages at home. I know it was something like that. So basically, if you have less than three kilograms, it is not a criminal amount, which is absolutely ridiculous. Because if you know what three kilograms of butt looks like, you know it's 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 basically it's criminal. It's criminal how much that is. But yeah, I don't know, dude. Like the rules are really iffy. I know right now they have rules like you can have six hundred gram per adult in the house or something like that as well. And you're allowed to give 100 grams to a friend if you don't receive any payment for it. I'm in South Africa, friend. Mr. DRK, SPKR. Yeah, dude, I'm in South Africa. Dang, sorry, lol, I thought you were an Australian and in my use of the word. Yeah, no, I know why you use the word. I, I know exactly. But I'm not Australian. I am South African. Also down under, as they like to say. But yeah, on the other side of the world. I'm gonna, before I light this. Okay, like I'm gonna have to stop reading comments for just a bit. Because I have to ask myself what my intent is for smoking this joint. So every time I light a joint, at least on these streams, I ask myself what my intent is. And... Today is a Sunday, and I've still put in my work that I was supposed to put in, but I still feel like I'm not working hard enough. I'm not working hard enough. I think I can do a lot more with my time, and that's why I'm smoking this joint. Uh, I want to become more aware of my time management, and I want to work harder. That is my intent for smoking today. It was just kind of like counterintuitive, obviously, smoking a joint. <laughs> and wanting to be more productive but but that is why i'm smoking this joint i have intent for this joint and i think with intent if we have intent with the things we do in our lives we, we give ourselves an extra sense of power 
an extra sense of security as well. So to hard work and yeah, to growth as well. Mm. I'm looking at these bugs. Man, they're big. They look like wasps. They have these big black bodies and then they have, oh, there's four of them. And they have these orange little stingers. Very unsettling watching them. Hard work and commitment. Hard work and commitment. Hard work and commitment. With hard work and commitment, we can change the world. I do believe so. I believe that we, as individuals, have so much more power than we sometimes allow ourselves to believe. And unfortunately, partly, it is because of the media. It is because of the schools. It is because of the, the way we were educated, like the indoctrination that our parents experienced. And then in turn, the indoctrination that was forced upon us. But human beings are powerful. We have so much power to bring light and to just to, yeah, bring light to people's lives. Even when you're, even when you're sad, even when you're angry, you still have the capacity to, to be a light being. Uh, you have a big backyard. Are you ever scared a lion or a hyena might roll up behind you and eat you? Um, no, fortunately. Uh, there aren't any lions close to me. I might, well, there are a few mountain lions, like living, well, m yeah, a few mountain lions, like living a while away. But they're more scared of me than I am of them. And as long as you're willing to stand your ground, if one of them tries to step up, you can still, you can, <laughs> you can still get away with it, dude. Like, they're not that big. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you doing that. That is just me. That's what I would do because... Like, as soon as you run away from a predator, they see you as prey. So, in my head, I would have to stand and fight. <laughs> what else can you do? Burn that with... Burn them with spliff? This? Is this a spliff? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. Cheers! Happy smokes from Canada. Enjoy, brother. Happy smokes to you as well, dude. And happy smokes from, a, from South Africa, then, I guess. I hope you're well. I, well, I guess it's in the morning hours now where you are at, so I hope you're going to have a good day. I hope you're going to have a productive day, even though sometimes we feel like we don't want to be productive. Oh, well, it's a Sunday, actually. No, you know what? Take the day off. You don't have to do anything. Just relax, like watch some Netflix or whatever, like eat some, eat some good food. Don't eat junk food. Eat some good food. Or oh, don't take any of my advice at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Hello again, my friend. Hello. I'm just going to call you uh, Marquis Alexander. I remember you, dude. You were, well, you still are one of my first viewers, dude. And thank you very much for joining me again. What do you do for work? I'm a 3D artist, friend. I'm a 3D artist. That's what I do for work, dude. How's COVID affecting South Africa right now? It's pretty hectic here, friend. Like, we... We are constantly experiencing new waves of upticks in numbers. Recently, a lot of people passed away. But we also have, like it's been proven already, like we have some fraud when it comes to people reporting COVID cases when those people are dying of other cases or other symptoms. Or It's a little bit wacky, but like short story. It's pretty whack here in South Africa. Me and my father and then in turn the rest of my family also had COVID. And it was more hectic for him than it was for me. Since I'm a 22 year old and he's in his 50s. So like fortunately he pulled through, he survived. But I can guarantee you it has potential to kill. And it definitely does. I left you yesterday and you were about to light up a joint. <laughs> Well, here I am again, and here I'll light a joint again, dude, as well. Ooh, yep. 
I like the intention idea of the J. I'll try that today. Please do. Please, please, please do. Uh, I've been reading a lot up about rituals. And I think it was... What's his name now? Confucius. Confucius had figured out how much power rituals have in people's lives. And how if you almost self-apply a ritual to your life, you have this... Just this power in the situation that you put yourself in, whatever it might be. Like even if you want to, let's say you want to go for a run and you stretch before you go for that run. That stretch can technically be seen as a ritual because it's something that you do every single time before you run. So in the same way, we have the potential to do these rituals before everything in our lives. And like in the Christian community, praying before your meal is a ritual and eating what's it called again i keep forgetting the english word for it uh so when you eat from the the pieces of bread and wine someone is gonna help me again in the comment but i keep forgetting that word uh anyway so they they eat of this like bread and wine and it symbolizes the flesh and the blood and that again is a ritual so if you go into smoking a joint with intent you are creating a new ritual for yourself. And instead of you just smoking to get high, suddenly you are smoking with the intent of whatever it is you put in your head. So today, the intent I want to put in my head is hard work and commitment. And to realize that with hard work and commitment, I can realize everything in my life. And I want you to realize the same thing. With hard work and commitment, we will realize everything in our lives. I realized that I can't stop realizing. So keep realizing the things in your life. Like if you've ever done this, I don't know how old any of you are, obviously, or your backstories, but it's something that I experienced in my own life. I had a dream since I was like a 14 year old to own a top of the range computer. Then a few years later, I worked, I earned money, and I bought myself the top of the range computer. And I was dreaming as a child about owning this thing. And with hard work and commitment, I realized that dream. And we can realize all of our dreams. It's just a matter of commitment, really. Da -da -da -da. How old are you? I am 22 years old, friend. Baptism? No, no, no. Communion. That's the one. It's called communion. You see, I think that's why I can't remember it for some reason. Because I, I think I think about it too closely with community. And then community is like, from in my head, a bunch of people living together. And I just, I couldn't make the connection. Huh. I don't have any idea what you're saying, Detroit Mike. Yuch, yuch karast. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Drinking water is actually so good for you. And depending on where you get your water from, it makes a difference. Did you know that water can like vibrate at crystal frequencies? And... If you look at water under a microscope and you go down far enough, depending on where your water comes from, it has like different properties. And depending on those properties, if you put it in your body, you gain more or you gain less from drinking that water. If that makes any sense. It's a, it's a little bit like iffy, but I, I do believe it actually. I feel like when I, when I, especially with showering or stuff like that, I don't know if any of you have experienced this, but if you go to a different place and you shower there, sometimes your hair can feel off or your skin will be irritated. And I think that could be like, well, I know in my opinion that that's because of like water quality and stuff. When I was in China, I lost so much hair, partly because of stress and partly because of my eating habits, but I think mostly little bug sorry mostly because of the shower like every time I had a shower I had like so much hair in my hands and it was like absolutely frightening me 
and then that would re that produce uh, cortisol in my body and then the cortisol would make me lose hair and then it was like a vicious cycle. I'm so happy to be out of that cycle. Whew. Stop thinking about things that you don't like, yo. Like, why do we do that? Stop thinking about things that we don't like. Just, just don't. Like, if you start thinking about something that you don't like, just ask yourself, why am I doing this? And do I want this to be part of my life? If you answer yourself, no, then stop thinking about it. I know it sounds a little bit, yo, just, just be happy, yo, stop being depressed. But no. Like, if you, if, okay, okay, okay. So let me make a, a very, like, what's the word? Two-tone example. So let's say there's a wall in the middle of nowhere. And then on the other side of that wall are beautiful mountainscapes, beautiful trees, bunnies next to a river, you know, the whole thing. And then you have the choice as a moving, breathing, deciding human being to either stand up against that wall and look just at the wall because that would be something that you don't like seeing or you can turn around and look at all of the beautiful things you have so this is something that I've been been practicing in my life every time I have a negative thought I bring it back to being grateful for the things I have so if all of you can see me right now can hear me right now have two hands to hold the phone with can taste food and can smell what they're eating as well you have so much so think if you did not have your sight how much would you be willing to pay to get your sight back i would pay everything literally everything i would spare no expense so i can't earn everything i can't earn the amount of money so there is no expense right so boom be grateful for the things you do have your eyes your ears your limbs your ability to taste your ability to smell your ability to think things like these things are are great stuff mate you're so basic that you think you have insight you're the one that's watching friend i don't think i have anything I'm, I'm doing this out of just a, a positive need to give to the world. If I can make one of you smile or I can brighten up your day, that means the world to me. And if that means I'm basic, then I'm basic as fuck. <laughs> uh, for a 22 year old, you are insightful as fuck. Thank you, dude. I uh, appreciate the compliment. You see, like, there are, there are different... Okay, so I like to think about life as a constant yes or no, constant left or right, constant positive or negative experience. So in every moment, we either have the choice to bring positivity into the world or negativity into the world. And you are constantly walking on that line. And if you keep making negative choices in your life, you're going to end up in a negative space in your life. If you keep making positive choices in your life, you're going to end up in a positive place. I believe the universe gives us opportunities to make these decisions and it tests us well, actually. Like it sends us these obstacles and then depending on how you handle your obstacles, depending on how you handle the events in your life, you are given then again more obstacles, more opportunities and more situations in which you will again be tested, whether you're going to be positive or be negative whether you're going to bring like light into the world or take light from the world. And it's a constant thing. We have to be aware of it in every single moment. Positive input, positive output. Yes, he knows, Mr. Race ID knows. Sending love, positive thinking for the win. We can break negative thought cycles, just have to take it. Yeah, uh, take responsibility. You're so right, Mr. Robot Babe, or maybe Mrs. Robot Babe. Anyway, we can take ourselves out of negative cycles. We can see the positive, and the only way to do that is, as you say, by taking responsibility. Because when you take full responsibility of your life, 
you start taking care of what you eat, you start taking care of yourself when it comes to exercise, you start taking care of yourself when it comes to your hair, with your skin, because you're taking responsibility for yourself in every single way. And when you do that, and you truly do that, your mental health actually gains so much because of that, because you're reinforcing your capacity to better yourself. You get what you give. <laughs> it's true. This man smoking gas. <laughs> uh, if all energy is neither created or destroyed, it is transferred. All choices made transfer that energy. Yes. Because this is the way that I think about it. So I'm a big fan of science, actually. And when we eat, um, I'm more a big fan of chemistry than science so much. I'm a big fan of chemistry. Anyway, so when we eat food, you're putting chemistry into your body. I, I hope you understand that. Then your body uses that energy to create neural impulses in your brain. Those neural impulses create the thoughts that you have. And then what happens afterwards? Energy cannot be destroyed or created, as we've said. So those thoughts have to go somewhere. Where do they go? Mm. Bring positivity into the world, yo. Even in your own mind. Don't understand why people who don't like to be here are here to spread negativity. You can choose to leave and do something else, friend. They're not here to spread negativity, friend. They're here for attention. Because they have negativity within themselves. And when you have negativity within yourself, you're looking for positivity to sap, right? So I believe that I, will, I can give enough positivity to a person that they become positive themselves. Like, think about it. Like, you can give so much energy that that negative state becomes saturated and becomes positive. Mm, yes. <laughs> Change the world. Change every single person that you interact with. Because it's only in deciding that you can that you will. Boop. <laughs> Smiling. How about the weed herb? It's pretty good, friend. It's pretty good. Since I've been smoking only like one a day, I've been, I've been enjoying it more and experiencing more of why it is I'm doing it, if that makes any sense. Technically speaking, magic is real. Just by thinking positive and working towards those goals, you're putting energy out into the world to make an idea of desire happen, even if it's just by brainwaves. Yes. I do believe that I won't be naive and just rely on my brainwaves, as you say, but I do believe that those brainwaves make a difference. And it makes me think of this story where it's like a story by Ten Han. I don't know if you know him. If you don't, he's a pretty cool YouTuber. And uh, he, he tells this story or he wrote this story about a little boy who dreamt about a uh, armadillo on a skateboard and the next morning he tried to draw it but it turned out horrible so his mom gave him a magic paintbrush and told him to sleep with it under his pillow and then try again tomorrow he wakes up tries it again and it's a little bit better but it's still pretty bad and again he tells his mom no it's not working it's still not like my dream and then she tells him oh okay just pack your crayons all around your bed and he does that and he goes to sleep and uh, the next day he tries it again and it becomes a little bit better again. Takes it back to his mom and is like, mom, no, it's still bad, it doesn't work, yada, yada, yada. Um, I can't remember the last thing she did, but basically uh, tells him, for example, to jump 10 times on his bed before he goes to sleep. And that magic will help him draw better. And then the next morning he tried again. And that time it actually turned out wonderful. And it looked almost like his dream and he was satisfied with the image that he created. And his mom told him, it wasn't the magic, it wasn't the magic brush, it wasn't the crayons around the bed, it wasn't the jumping on the bed. It was just you not giving up. It was you continually trying to better yourself no matter what. And for exactly that reason, he did get better. And I think we all have the capacity to do the same. Are you a big fan of God? Negative emotions create fear, hence losing faith and positive thoughts. Uh, I am a big fan of God, but not in the traditional sense. 
Uh, <laughs> so I'm not a believer of the Judeo-Christian God. Let me just put it like that. You're smoking because you like to get high. Of course, dude. Of course. Why do people drink alcohol? Why do people eat sugar? Uh, why do people drink coffee? All of us like these experiences, dude. And it's kind of part of the human condition. Your, uh, your mental well-being has a big influence on your productivity. If you can't get anything done in your life, you tend to be less happy. Take care of yourself first, eat healthy, have a clear daily schedule, and go outside regularly. It helps a lot. Very good advice. Very, very good advice. I could not have put it better myself. All of that stuff is true. All of that stuff is true. And it's only in realizing that you have the power and the potential. And if you just will yourself to do it, you can do all of those things. And it's not hard. It's just work. It's just work. I also like this saying. I'm going to say it in a second. Productivity affects your fuel efficiency. Or rather, I can say as well, your mood affects your fuel efficiency. Because if you're angry and you're sa or you're sad or you're resentful, you feel yourself getting drained. You feel like the tighten the tightness of your face. It it becomes uncomfortable. You're instantly uncomfortable in your own state of being, and that uncomfortability causes you to become more almost dependent on your own resources, like your heart is beating faster, your muscles are tense. So because of that, you're using literally more energy. So be in a good mood. <laughs> Just be happy. Like it's an uplifting energy. I don't know why it is like that, but it is how it is. And we all have that capacity within ourselves. And we have the capacity to share that with other people. Positivity is like a candle. You can light a thousand other candles without its light dimming. Mm. It's, a, it's a pretty good quote. What's a, that's a nice bliff. Thank you very much for mentioning it. You have activated my trap card. I have to light it now. <laughs> Sure. The day is cooling down a little bit now, at least. It's not as warm, but yo, it's been just bug infested lately. Bugs and bugs. Flies and beetles and wasps. <laughs> as a result, we've had just as many birds. So, that's nice. I just wish they were hungrier. <laughs> Do any of you have a good question for me? I really enjoy being asked good questions. Especially the ones I have trouble answering. Unless it's relationship advice. <laughs> I'm not good with relationship advice. Hmm. <sighs> What's straight? This is Lemon Haze, friend. Yo. You can hear the birds as well, right? Where do you live? I live in South Africa. I live in South Africa. And I haven't done it on today's stream, so I feel I have to do it now. South Africa is a beautiful country. It is a prosperous country. It's an abundant country. It's a safe country, it's a healthy country, it is a wealthy country. Uh, let's start again. It is a spiritual country, it is a... generous country. It is a prosperous country, I think I might have said that before. But yes, twice. Twice as prosperous. It is a heavenly country. 
it is a uplifting country. All of these things I speak into the universe and I pray for this for my country because that's the only thing we can do. I refuse to talk about the bad aspects of my country anymore and I only, only choose to talk about the positive and the positivity I hope for it. Ex accept water? Accept water. What did I say about water? What did I say about things? You're talking about the the human condition thing and using everything to like alter our experiences because technically water alters our experiences as well, you know. And I see there's a lot of new friends here. Thank you so much for joining me right now. We only have like four minutes left, so it's going to be over very soon. But, but I have to do this for personal growth as well. I have a YouTube channel, Meltmore. Like, I'm posting all of these live streams there in horizontal mode. Do give it a, give it a check. Like, I would really appreciate it. Like, you would be helping me grow my dreams. And you're also watching me from the very start of it. So, give, give, it, a, give it a thought. Give it a consideration. I would appreciate it. It's a musical country. Yes! Thank you. It's a musical country as well, dude. It really is. And... People do like to sing here. I think it's a, it's a pretty common trait of people. South Africa's water crisis turns out apartheid still impacts class divides, unsurprisingly. Uh, I don't know if you know what the statistics are of the, the populations in South Africa, but Caucasian people only make up about 5% of the entire like uh, population of South Africa. 90% are, are African and about another 5% are either Indian, Chinese, or yeah, one of those two. So like uh, the Caucasians are the minority in South Africa. Uh, not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Their apartheid hasn't been a thing for 26 years. No, 20, 27 years going now. Fortunately. It's this guy again. Yes, it's me again, bro. You came so late. You came so, so late. Like, you should have sticked around earlier, dude. Uh, let me open this up. Mm, you remind me of my Albanian friend. Is he a cool friend? I hope so then I'll be happy to be reminded of it. <laughs> yeah, I worked at the UN Center for African Development. Okay, and what did you find, bro? What did you find? I do believe there are a lot of people in Africa and South Africa as well who have a water crisis, as you say, but I do not believe that it's because of apartheid, dude. It's because of the people that's been in power since apartheid ended. Because they're the one of the resources to change that, right? Hmm? They're not part of apartheid, are they? <laughs> yeah, dude. Checkmate. Don't talk schmack, dude. Ooh. One minute and 30 seconds left. I have to think about a message to leave us with. I think I'm, I might take some inspiration from Marcus Aurelius's meditations and yeah. So this is going to be me paraphrasing, but do everything in your life, like fully with justice with tenderness, with persistence, with accuracy, with passion, and do it in such a way that you have complete sovereignty over who it is you're being. If you can live in complete active awareness, you will be living a divine life. And if you can do the things that's in front of you 
when it's in front of you, instead of thinking about the past, instead of projecting what the future might be. That is the best way that you can change your life because you are the one that's in charge. You're the one that's constantly working and doing the things that you have to do, right? Oh, I just got a gold award, so just like that, we're back in four more minutes. Okay, so I went into a speech as to end it, but the point stands, the point stands. Actively do the things you're supposed to do. Don't, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Are you old enough to have been impacted by the music of Rodriguez? People keep asking me about Rodriguez, but no, I've not been impacted by him at all. I can't say fortunately, but maybe I'll go check him out. I don't think I've heard any of his music. Not just yet, bro. <laughs> thank you for, oh, thank you for keeping me in, dude. I appreciate it. You can't, you probably can't see this, but there's a little spider climbing up towards me. He spinned the web down my camera. Bugs, yeah, bugs everywhere. Everything is eating, everything is happy, and it makes me happy to see it. I did a lot of paperwork, but you're ignoring the racial problems of your country while preaching awareness. I'm not saying there aren't any racial problems in my country, dude, but if you're so aware, are you aware of far murders? And if you are, then like, there definitely is a racial problem in my country. You're very right. There's so many spiders. I see like four of them. The, I think there was like a, a baby nest hatching here or something. So they're just crawling down my, like the pole I have my camera mounted to. Woo, spiders. Oh, well, I think like, Spiders have a lot of intelligence as well in them. If you look at how intricate their webs can be and with how much precision, the precision they do that, it's kind of impressive. And you have spiders that are like night hunters. And what that means is they find a place where they know there's a lot of bug traffic and then they only set up at night. So they will like erect their entire web at night and then they will chew it up, consume it and then save all of that energy or that silk to use for the next night and then it does that over and over and over again and it's so impressive because if it was out in the day just chilling it would like probably get its webs destroyed or it would get eaten by a bird. So at night hunt stuff. They usually do it close to light sources as well. How are the women in South? America? I have no idea how the women are in South America, friend. I live in South Africa. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Nelson Mandela. That's a beautiful quote. Can you show the nature around you? Yes, I can, friend. Yes, I can. Ooh, spiders. Let me switch my camera off. So, to end it off, this is the view.